Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the theft behind Planet Nine. Scientific accusations are abound that our sun stole Planet Nine. This is no laughing matter. This is a very serious accusation. This planet hasn't even been found, but scientists already know how it got there. 2016 is weird. How weird is it? This planet hasn't even been found, but scientists already know how it got there. Where's there? They don't know, but they know how it got there. This would make it the first exoplanet to be discovered in our solar system. Ladies and gentlemen, I just read that off of physics.org. Now, let me read it to you again, because it's a mighty special sentence one way or the other. This would make it the first exoplanet to be discovered inside our own solar system. We got solar systems colliding, galaxies merging, and everybody mad at everybody. It's like Earth has been split into two halves, and both halves are hoping the other half dies in a fire. And what does that get us? I guess it's 2016. And action! Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. There's something out there. My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. The solar system possesses an additional ninth planet. There's a real planet out there still to be found. Oh, this actually might even be true. Or... Now it's up to you to decide if you want to believe in Planet Nine or not. I give you the information. It's up for you to decide. And it's just information. Try not to get mad at the information. Because if you get mad at information, you're mad all the time. According to astronomers in Lund, there's a lot to indicate that Planet Nine was captured by the young sun. That has been part of our solar system, completely undetected ever since. It is almost ironic that while astronomers often find exoplanets hundreds of light years away in other solar systems, there's probably one hiding in our own backyard. All right. This Planet Nine article wins the gold star for most cool sentences in an article. It is almost ironic that while astronomers often find exoplanets hundreds of light years away in other solar systems, there's probably one hiding in our own backyard, says Alexander Mustill, astronomer at Lund University. Stars are born in clusters and often pass by one another. The galaxy is like a giant aquarium and stars are giant magic fish that glow. This is probably what happened when our own sun captured Planet Nine. That's a hell of a theory. What is your evidence? This supercomputer told me so. Okay, bro. Well, what star did it steal it from? The Newton cameras are the closest things I can get to all the stars in our star field moving in their procession, which is weird. In a computer simulated model, Alexander, together with astronomers in Lund and Bordeaux, has shown the planet Nine was probably captured by the sun when coming in close contact while orbiting another star. Well, you've repeated that information like four times and you haven't added anything to it. We got a cool video and we got a theory, but how come we don't have the name of the star? The original solar system that Planet Nine belongs to. Can we give this planet a name yet? No. You want to know why not? Because they haven't found it. They're just 99% sure it's there. Does that sound weird? Well, like I said, that's 2016. Planet Nine may very well have been shoved by other planets. And when it ended up in an orbit that was too wide around its own star, our sun may have taken the opportunity to steal and capture Planet Nine from its original star. When the sun later departed from the stellar cluster in which it was born, Planet Nine was stuck in an orbit around the sun, says Alexander Mustard. There is still no image of Planet Nine, not even a point of light. We don't know if it's made up of rock, ice, or gas. All we know is that its mass is probably around 10 times the mass of the Earth. It requires a lot more research before it can be ascertained that Planet Nine is the first exoplanet in our solar system. If the theory is correct, Alexander Mustill believes that the study of space and the understanding of the sun and the earth will take a giant leap forward. There we go. Got another good sentence. If the theory is correct, Alexander Mustill believes that the study of space and the understanding of the sun and the earth will take a giant leap forward. Why is it taking him out? So much trouble to find it. This is the only exoplanet that we realistically would be able to reach using a space probe, he says. This planet hasn't even been found, but scientists already know how it got there. 2016 is weird. How weird is it? This planet hasn't even been found, but scientists already know how it got there. Where's there? They don't know, but they know how it got there. The computer simulated study says all I need to know. They say their theory is highly likely. Just curious. 
how highly likely is your theory? 70%, 80%, 90%? What is your certainty, bro? I would like to know. Plant 9 is an exoplanet. If Plant 9 exists, if it doesn't, then it's not a plant. It's a nothing. It's a MacGuffin. A snipe. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about peace lasers. They're the thing the solar system needs. How do they work? I don't know. What do they do? I don't know that either. But that is the bridge between all creatures that depend on the sun for life and a balanced solar system that isn't always at war with each other. So I just have peace lasers. And it may sound like I'm joking, but I'm not. You may have to shoot these peace lasers straight from your heart. And I mean it. It's almost like lightning bolt. You have to come up with a match and extend it out like a magnetosphere. Pretty much perform a type of emotional and spiritual surgery on the hearts, minds, and souls of everything that has been dealing with these 6,000 years of madness. And it's best to do it while singing a good song. What was I talking about? Peace lasers. Just come on, y'all. Take a look at the world right now. Everybody's angry. The whole thing looks like it's about to fall apart. So I'd say we show some get up and go from Mother Earth and invent peace lasers here on Earth now. Why am I talking about this? Because I'm nervous about Planet X. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And action. Also, in July, NASA's Juno spacecraft will arrive at Jupiter and all of its moons. And I don't know if you know this, Jupiter is our solar system's binary companion to the sun. If you want to go ahead and have a brown dwarf debate with me, uh, that would be wonderful. Because I love the stellar main sequence. And I've tried to understand the physics behind when one planet or gas giant moves from one solar system to the other. And uh, it's quite an interesting process. And it means that our solar system is officially merging with another solar system. If this scientific theory is correct. Here's my favorite part of the story. Damn it. The theft behind Planet 9 in our solar system. May 31st, 2016. By Cecilia Schubert. This computer simulation of the process of our two solar systems combining is fascinating. You could just stare at it for hours. If you enjoy putting solar systems together with your mind. And when solar systems form, a lot like dancing. If you have two good dance partners, you can have a great time. Now, if they're not good at dancing, I believe it's called the Roche Limit. Well then, things don't go well. A whole lot of solar system change is going on in that case. But we're trying to calm things down in our solar system. I mean, it is time for Earth to get along with Mars, to get along with Venus, to get along with Saturn, to get along with Jupiter, to get along with Neptune. You know what I'm saying? Now, can we please all... Stop bickering. The soul family's gonna need to be at the top of our game for the next few galactic dips, up and down trips. Through a computer simulated study, astronomers at Lund University in Sweden show that it's highly likely that so called Planet 9 is an exoplanet. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Through a computer simulated study, astronomers at Lund University in Sweden show that it is highly likely that so called Planet 9 is an exoplanet. What is an exoplanet? I'm glad you asked. It's any planet outside of our solar system. Or any planet that was born outside of our solar system. What is the definition of a planet? Well, that's a whole other can of worms. Those worms are wearing spiked chainmail and singing hymns from the Spanish Inquisition. Well, I tend to over-dramatize things. Please, forgive me. Whoa. I guess I am and will always be confused by all of the anger and the hate. It ain't 1999 no more. It's 2016. It's just falling apart. What are we talking about? Oh yeah, Planet 9. This would make it the first exoplanet to be discovered inside our own solar system. The theory is that our sun, in its youth some 4.5 billion years ago, stole Planet 9 from its original star. Um, which star did our sun steal Planet 9 from? That's really important information, and it should probably go in the first sentence of the article. An extrasolar planet. An extrasolar planet. Or exoplanet is by definition a planet located outside our solar system. I told them that, dude. Don't waste their time. Now it appears that this definition is no longer viable. Well, definitions are about as sturdy as jello armor. According to astronomers in Lund, there is a lot to indicate that Planet 9 was captured by the young sun and has been part of our solar system completely undetected ever since. Wow. Well, it appears to be one crisis after another for planet Earth. No, I'm not implying that Planet 9 is a danger to Planet Earth in any way. But if the sun stole Planet 9, then something's going to have to be worked out. Because you can't have two solar systems at war with each other in the middle of a merger. That's totally going to screw up the Feng Shui of the entire solar system. And if I had to guess, we got stuff coming in from the top, the bottom, and the corner. And everybody's going to get real fast as they go around and do the do si -do. I don't know, though. I just know that the Planet 9 story... It's like the Planet X story. It is the coolest story since 2010, the year 2000. I do not know. 
Nothing to see here. Nothing to worry about. Strange days indeed, my friends. God bless everybody. Stay tuned. The story's only gonna get weirder. I bet the weather does the same. May. Maybe. Probably. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation.